Stefan Lorenzo, you know, I'm back with another video, another podcast, King of BBW's podcast. You dig? Um, this ain't going to take long at all. It's 523 in the AM. We out here. We back in Orlando, Florida. Um, and this was on my heart. So, you know, I came in early, super early. Um, to go ahead and give y'all this message. You know, I'm going to go ahead and just let this play. And then we can go from there. Hold up. Let me make sure my volume is right. Uh-oh. I ain't even going to play with y'all. This ain't going to take long at all. Let's go. Once y'all um, once y'all hear this video, then you'll get where I'm going. Let's go. Back to men having to build their financial confidence. That's why it's good when brothers like yourselves can have these spaces to have these conversations, build confidence in brothers, because when the men are not financially confident, that's who they run to, the bigger girls, because most yeah. of the girls are going to have good credit, have some money, and be able to help take care of them. And because cook. Bigger, bigger <laughs> woman says, help. Smaller woman says, oh, I have to carry that load. Oh, I got to. Whoa. Did you hear what this? Did you hear what this bitch just said? Hold on. Let me bring that back care of her. Bigger woman says she going like we, we have we have really <coughs> like <coughs> not have we've not we've been very Smoke. afraid to communicate the truth to women. Well I mean but you communicate what you want by your actions. So if you going out sleeping with these women then you communicate you know by default this is okay. Yeah, and it goes back to men having to build their financial confidence. That's why it's good when brothers like yourselves can have these spaces to have these conversations, build confidence in brothers, because when the men are not financially confident, that's who they run to, the bigger girls, because most yeah. of the girls are going to have good credit, have some money, and be able to help take care of them. And because cook. Bigger, bigger <laughs> woman says, help. Smaller woman says, oh, I have to carry that load. Oh, I whoa, whoa. Hold on. Let me go ahead and weigh in right here. Um, first of all, this is a platform... Um, what's the name of this platform? It is called the Un Un uh, in, Un in, Hardly in, uh, in, Initiated. Excuse me, Hardly Initiated uh, podcast. Um, and the guest they had on here was a young, handsome lady by the name of Six the Goddess. You know, she's very handsome, as y'all can see. Um, hold on, look at that. She looking, look how she looking. She looking like that because she knows she on bullshit. You see how big her eyes is getting? Because she knows she on bullshit and she, it's like she's almost waiting for, for the rebuking to come. It's like she can, it's like she's almost looking for me. Like, yo, I know I'm talking this bullshit. Stefan Lorenzo, the king of BBWs, this nigga going to pop out at any fucking moment. Where is this nigga? Where is this nigga at? Like in her subconscious, it seems like she knew that I was going to be on her ass about this bullshit she talking. Now, first off, I just want to say, um, me personally and a lot of men, I'm going to speak for a lot of men. Matter of fact, I'm going to speak for all the men. Yeah. Matter of fact, I'm going to speak for all the men who are attracted to plus size women um, genuinely, um, especially men over 30. Um, don't no man. I don't think no man in today's time, even uh, financially, very, very, very financially stable men. I don't think no man wants a woman. I don't think any real, because they're using this high value word now. You know where that's coming from, the high value. I don't think any high value man, if there is such a thing, wants a woman that brings nothing to the table. Right? I know me, myself, after my first marriage, I didn't want a woman who only brought sex to the table because I hate to say my, my first wife, that's all she brought to the table for the most part was sex. She didn't know how to handle business. She didn't know how to get any money. She didn't know how to, for instance, the whole time I was married to my first wife, I was a criminal. I was a full-time career criminal, full-time, meaning that I went out and broke the law every day intentionally. Yes, I premeditated crimes, felonies, every single day that I was married for the most part. And even though I was uh, committing these crimes and at certain times I was really winning, you know, really winning. But I couldn't really go to the next level, even though I was getting this money out of the street, 
because the woman that I had, the woman that I had, she didn't know how to capitalize off of this money I was getting. She didn't know how, you know, she didn't know anything about business to put me on to because, you know, she was seven years older than me. You know, so going through all that, and that's a whole nother podcast, I told myself, hey, I'm never going to be with another woman that doesn't have anything to bring to the table. You know, uh, up north, you know, a few years back in New York, they had a song from some local cats. I can't remember their name, but they name was, the name of the song was called Match My Fly. Yeah, Match My Fly. And that don't just mean for as a nigga swag or how he dressing or whatever, but no, match everything. You know, because your, your woman, for a man, your woman is the female version of you. You understand what I'm saying? So once I understood that and overstood that, I never wanted another woman in my life that the only thing she had to bring to the table was sex. You know, this is what I told myself. And I, I remain true on that to the most part. I slipped a couple times. <laughs> I slipped a couple times, but I remain true. But I want to get back into this video and um, here with Six the Goddess. Now, why the fuck she's a goddess? What the fuck makes her a goddess? What the fuck makes her a goddess? See, now we're going to really crank into this bullshit. What the fuck makes her a goddess? It's just because she says she's a goddess. There's nothing. She can't do anything godlike. There's nothing godlike about this woman. There's nothing godlike about a woman putting down other women. Yeah, there's nothing godlike about a woman putting down other women that she doesn't even know. Speaking for a whole class of women. And even more so, a whole class of men. To make matters worse, black men. Now, I must point out that this platform is in Atlanta, which doesn't surprise me. It does not surprise me. And I bet all three of these uh, people here on this platform are all college educated. Probably uh, HBCUs, if I had to bet. And I understand it because of the wild mind frame, the sick, twisted, sadistic that is allowed to seep into their minds. You know, anytime, hold on, let me just play this, play this again. Let me play this again, hold on. Let me back up and I'm gonna let it go a little farther. All right, let's go. We've not, we've been very afraid to communicate the truth to women. Well, I mean, but you communicate what you want by your actions. So if you going out sleeping. But I'm saying, hold up, this nigga, this nigga is, this nigga is, is 35, 36, same age as me, with, and he done went bald. That is not a natural bald hair. That nigga did not cut his hair bald. You know, he's not wearing that natural bald head just because he think it's stylish. No, the nigga fucking top is gone. Ben Wallace. You know what I'm saying? The nigga top is gone. This nigga's 34, 35 years old with a bald head. Nigga, you, you done lost your motherfucking hair. Y'all, you an alpha, you ain't got no hair. At 35, you know what I'm saying? But I'd be a hating ass nigga to go in here and make jokes about your motherfucking bald ass milk dud head. Anybody got some milk duds? God damn, I have a, a motherfucking uh, craving for milk duds right now. Shit, let me go ahead and play this. Damn. Because men have really made women feel very comfortable in this area. Like That's we, true. We have, we have really like not have we've not we've been very afraid to communicate the truth to women well i mean but you could no nigga your bitch ass is afraid to communicate the truth you are afraid do y'all see the bullshit he has a t-shirt that says on oh, alpha energy right his t-shirt says alpha energy but at the same time he's communicating that men are afraid no you are afraid let me go Okay, what you want by your actions. So if you going out sleeping with these women, then you communicate, you know, by default, this is okay. Yeah, and it goes back to men having to build their financial confidence. That's why it's good when brothers like yourself can have these space. Hold on. I will agree with, uh, I will agree with the tranny, Six the Goddess. Yeah, she kind of looks like a tranny to me. <laughs> um, I will agree with the trannies. Um, with the transgender, and it wouldn't really surprise me if she really is a transgender, you know, it's ATL. But anyway, um, surprise. excuse me, I will agree with her on one thing, that men, we are very, very uh, self-conscious about our money. You know, 
This is why women, I said this before on the podcast, this is why like when women, when y'all get into an argument with a man, most of y'all, a lot of y'all, um, the first thing you come for is our money or our dick size. Because, you know, women know these are the, really the only two things men seem to be self-conscious about. You know, our money and our dick size. First thing y'all say, oh, broke ass nigga. Oh, little dick, broke ass nigga. That's the first thing y'all say. So she is right about that. But let's keep going. You know, look at this. Look, look at this. Hold on. I really wish I could zoom in. Do you see the way her mouth is? She has a mouth fit for you know what. Not mine, but I'm just saying. It looked like she sucked dick all through college. You know, but let's go. Is to have these conversations build confidence in brothers because when the men are not financially confident that's who they run to the bigger girls because most yeah. of the girls are going to have good credit have some money and i feel like like maybe a bbw took a nigga she was fucking with at some point and like she has some type of like because she definitely has something against bbws you know i don't know if she's just trying to play the kevin samuels route you know um May Allah forgive him. I'm not going to talk bad about the dead. You know, y'all know how I felt about Kevin Samuels when he was here. I'm not going to talk bad about the dead. God don't like ugly and he ain't too fond of cute neither. Um, but, you know, I don't know if she's trying to just play that role or if she's sincere. But I definitely believe that she does have something against plus size women. You know, but let's keep going. Help take care of them. And cook. Because bigger, bigger <laughs> woman says, help. Smaller woman says, oh, I have to carry that load. Oh, I got to take care of her. Bigger woman says she going to help me. She going to put this load over her back. So Because that's what man, she has to do to keep a man, to, to maintain to a man. Make, to make but hold on. Hold on. Look at this nigga. He got on an Alpha Energy shirt, too. Look at this nigga. This nigga is only 5'2". Like, that's a baby. The chair is bigger than him. The chair the nigga sitting in is bigger than him. He bigger than the goddamn chair. What the fuck? Alpha energy. Boy, a nigga laugh at you. Anyway, <laughs> like, shouldn't every woman, if she's involved with a man, seriously involved with a man, you know, be dedicated to him and vice versa? You understand what I'm saying? And also, for the most part, a lot of people out here are not getting money. It's only a certain select few of people out here that are really, truly financial stable, financially stable. The rest of us are really just making ends meet, you know? I'm including myself in that, you know? I'm just making ends meet. Until I get where I want to get in life, I'm broke. But let's keep going. For it. Yeah. So the man, again, not want to just sacrifice, step up, be by yourself for some time, get your money right. It's I'll just go get a big girl, she'll help me. It's easy. I'm not even going to respond to that. Guys, that's, that's, the, that's the easy route. That's why, guys, it's nothing wrong with saying you want a beautiful woman. See, these motherfuckers, y'all seem to think that this shit is 2004, 1998, uh, you know, 1993 or something. These plus size women now don't have that low self-esteem anymore. Not as a whole. Is it still somewhat there? Yeah, but not nowhere near like it was. So me, you have me, an attractive... Uh, you know, qualified, bona fide young man, you know, women shoot me down. Plus size women shoot me down. I get turned down. I get turned down. Me, the king of BBWs. So this whole thing that BBWs are easy to get, that's a mismurmur. It's a, it's a bullshit. It's not true. It has no factual basis. You understand what I'm saying? That game is 20 years old. Plus size women... Do not, do not have that super low self-esteem where they just jump at it. No, fuck no. Because if I get turned down, I know what it is. Now, I'm keeping it real here. Let's go. Best believe you're going to have to bust your ass and earn the beauty. You're going to have to go slay the dragon to get the goddamn princess. Well, That's how that works. Because it takes a lot for a woman to be beautiful mm -hmm. and to make. So y'all mean to tell me that a plus size woman is not beautiful. That's like me saying, you know, that. Uh, skinny because a woman, even though I'm strictly attracted to plus size women, that doesn't mean I can't recognize the beauty in a woman who's not plus size. I'm just not sexually attracted to her, you know, because there's certain features that I'm only sexually attracted to. And for women, I know it's the same way for y'all as well.
You know? So let's keep going. Taint that over a period of years. Mm -hmm. You know, you talk about grooming, you talk about dieting, exercise. Like, these are major sacrifices that a woman must make. But look at this nigga. This nigga's not in no, like, hella good shape. He's not. Neither one of them are. These niggas don't work out four, five times a day. I mean, a week. You know? So it really, it really takes me back when, when I hear men talk like that. You know, yeah, I want a woman, you know, she got to be this, this, that, and the third, physically fit like this, this, that, and the third. But they not physically fit, not even a little bit, not even trying, you know? I could see if you're like an ex-athlete or something like that, and you're saying, yeah, well, my girl got to be an athlete too. But, you know, uh, um, be on the level of what you're trying to attract. It's like when people say they want to lose weight and all they eat is Twinkies all motherfucking day. Y'all people, y'all be making y'all mouths fried chicken, as my grandma used to say. But let's go. And a lot of times women will put that on it. Just like men pursue the financial aspect, they put the emotional aspect and understanding family structures and things like that to the side. Women pursue this financial independence and they put physical attractiveness to the side. Mm -hmm. And they get to these traditional corporate jobs and they get run down, mm -hmm. you know, and they begin to age a lot faster, get sick, get sick mm -hmm. you know. And it's, it's so crazy to me, uh, Six, because when I was listening to your show, I was... Not only was I impressed with the way of your ability to communicate these different ideas, especially the analogies, because I'm like, damn, I should have said that. You know what mm -hmm. I mean? But it was so empowering mm -hmm. the way that I really felt like all men should listen to this mm -hmm. because they... Agreed. Can I stop you, bro? That nigga sounds like a, a bitch. I'm going to be honest with you, brother. You sound like a bitch. You sound like a complete bitch. Yeah. Nah, but it's Atlanta. It's Atlanta. Hey, and I see y'all coming up in here. Good morning to everybody. Peace and blessings and love and prosperity. Um, but I need us to be on one accord with this like button. So I got three people in here right now. So I should have three likes. I need you to click that like button. All right. If you have not subscribed, make sure you are subscribed and smash that like button. The like button is innocent. It has not done nothing to anyone. It has not hated on no one. It has not took nothing from no one. It has not fucked over no one. You dig? It has not lied to no one. You understand? So I need y'all to be on one accord and make sure y'all hitting the like button so we can get this message out. Super chats have been disabled. All right. You want to do anything for me? Hit the like button. That's what I'm talking about. My people. But yeah, though, let's keep going. Go ahead, do you what you just said right there was really powerful. I don't think you realize what you just said. A huge, huge indicator of masculinity as a man is in any... That ain't her real hell. That ain't her real hell. I just thought I'd point that out. That ain't her real hell. <laughs> I'm a bullshit. Let me keep going. And it's his ability to learn from a woman. Wow. A lot of men cannot learning. See, I will agree with that. See, even the devil will tell you the truth. Even the devil will tell you the truth and mix it in with a hundred lies. Yeah, I agree with that. That I do agree with. Yes. A man must be able to learn from a woman. You know, but I don't really think she qualifies as a woman. Anytime you a woman, especially a black woman, hating on other black women, I mean, but I know what she's trying to do. Can y'all say Rest in peace, Kevin Samuels. She's the reincarnation of... He is the reincarnation of Kevin Samuels. This is who Kevin Samuels... Let me stop it. I ain't gonna do it. What is what God put us here for? We're the head on the swivel. We're but We have a portal here in between us as humans and all the powers that be in the universe here. We get messages. So it's commendable. And I, and I love this space. For you as a man to just be, you know, I'm so willing to. what was the message, bitch? What was the message you got, Six the Goddess? Um, <laughs> what was the message that you got from the universe that told you to go on the internet and down other women as a woman? Like, where did that come from? Was that a message from on high? I hardly believe that the universe um, or the powers that be on high or the creator, which is one and the same, um, inspired you with that. No, because the creator, he doesn't inspire that. The universe doesn't inspire negativity. We know where that came from. 
Like I, I heard things you said, it, it was new to me. It, it was valuable to me. And that makes me feel very honored because it's one thing for me to sit on here and like pop my shit. Right. <laughs> and it's another thing when my brothers are saying this was valuable. Because as much as we as women say we don't need validation from men, we may not need validation from men, but we need validation from our men. So it means a lot for me as a black woman to have you as a black man and you as a black man say, sister, we learn from and we value that. I understand. I understand what you're saying. However, however, I understand what you're saying, but that's just bullshit because there is no real core meaning of what you're saying because it's all based in negativity. It's all based in negativity. Yes, it's all based in negativity. For you to get on the internet as a black woman and down other women, other black women especially, because we know um, most black women are you know, plus size and proportionate uh, to non-black women in this country. But really, you know, according to the statistics, you know, over half of all women, really all Americans are, are overweight. So it's just very interesting to see how they spin this bullshit. You know, um, this is just a quick, a quick, quick, quick video Exhortation. I'm gonna get ready to get up and get my workout in. Um, but I want y'all to stay woke and know that when God creates, he makes no mistakes. And big is beautiful too. And I probably will be coming back with a part two uh to this bullshit. And um, you know, I sent them an email uh about this particular uh episode and being on the platform. So uh, we're gonna see what happens, but there will probably definitely be a follow-up to this. Anyway, y'all stay blessed. Um, stay sucker free like MTV um, and shit, we lit. <laughs>